What is up boys and girls and welcome back. It's Alibi like always here with XCOM 2. Now this game was in my top anticipated games of 2016 and I have heard nothing but good things about it. I'm excited to play it. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be raging. It's going to be awesome. And let's just hop right into it. Um, so we'll go veteran. Yeah. Commander is like classic mode. Uh, we'll take the tutorial and we'll show subtitles. Uh, this portion will reduce voiceovers directed toward new players. Um, I think we're fine. Yeah. Alright, start game. Let's do this. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate a benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your neighbors. Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. All right, here we go, boys and girls. This is XCOM. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Yes. Copy that. Moment. Yes, we're learning how to move. So we we select our character by. Oh, we can't select a character right now, but we do select our character with the left click, right click to move, like so. And this game looks really pretty. I don't even have it in max settings just because I'm recording it. Um, I, I have it at high settings, not maximum settings, and it looks really, really good. So the unit flag shows the health. Yeah, so the little bars, they're the health, the soldier's health. And yeah, the little arrows indicate their actions. They get two actions per turn. He now has one turn Your remaining. Position, yes. But I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. Right here, full cover. Looks like full cover ahead. Move All right, out. so this is the cover system. Um, as you can see here, right next to his HP bar, there's a half shield on it. Um, half shield means half cover. 
Full shield means full cover. We're gonna move the full cover. That way our um our unit doesn't Crasher get two. stay close. Keep pace with Crasher one. Okay. Um and yeah, so now it's telling you showing you the how action or movement works, right? So anywhere in this blue outline area inside of it, um, that costs one action point. You see here in the yellow, um, once I pass the blue and into the yellow, that costs two action points. So um, if I move into the blue, it's a, it's just like a move. And then if I move into the yellow, it's called a dash. A dash takes two, two action points. So we'll just move her directly into full cover. So there you go. And I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. It's going to be a lot of explaining, a lot of uh, tutorializing. We'll have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. All right, here we go. Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. All right. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. Nailed it. All right, so we're concealed. Most missions can start with a squad in concealment. Use concealment to set ambushes. If any of your soldiers are spotted, all this, all of your soldiers will lose the benefit of concealment. So it's like a, it's kind of like a stealth mechanic. So we're gonna dash over to this half cover over here because that's what it's telling us to do. Yeah, stay low, man. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure and we'll lose our advantage. So, this, these red areas right here with the red eyeballs, these are these are tiles that the enemy can see. So, if we move into them, then we lose our element of surprise. So, let's not move into it. We'll have Ana Rodriguez. Ramirez? Rodriguez? I have no idea. Have Alien activity. Surprise on our side. Hopefully, that's enough. Okay. Uh-oh. What's happening? You're speaking alien, I don't understand you. Oh, they made an explosion which uh made a distraction. Alright, I get it. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Alright, we're gonna use a grenade. Let's use a grenade. So, um we'll press okay. Mm-hmm. Click fire or enter to confirm attack. So, what is it telling me to do, actually? Alright, there we go. Okay, we have a 68% chance of attacking this enemy. I guess we'll do it, since that's what it's telling us to do. Here we go. First combat. Oh, and that alien is down. Alright, so we lose our element of surprise, I believe. Alright. Oh, and they're, they're taking cover now. Alright, I see. All right, the entire squad loses concealment when any a soldier attacks an enemy, breaking windows or kicking open doors. A soldier is flanked or steps into detection tiles. All right, makes sense. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate? Sounds later. good. No problem. So we're gonna move Ramir or Anna Ramirez over here. The bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. And we're gonna take out this enemy right here. Sixty-three percent chance. I like our odds. BAM! I love those little slow-mo camera things. Camera kills, I guess. And that'll be the end of our turn. You still keep in score, right? I am. Alright, we're gonna take some fire. Oh man, and they missed. Great. Not going out that easy. Not going out that easy. Oh no, we got flanked! <gasps> Anna! Anna's dead! All right, here we go. So Anna was predetermined to die. So this is teaching us how to flank. Um, obviously, he's behind cover, and since we're like cover is directly in front of us, his cover is directly in front of us. Um, that's gonna give him. See if we try attacking right now. That is a 56% shot. If we move and flank him to the side, like so. Nice work. Press the advantage before they get around. Um. We can fire, and that's an 82. So that is basically more or less a a certain kill. All right, awesome. Teaching us flanking, moving. Um, all right. One more alien. Here we go. Oh, cutscene. Ooh, 
Ooh, shot in the back of the head. Very nice. Is that Anna? She's calling reinforcements. Stop that. Ooh, stomped out. Transmission. Who's this? Oh, it's the old guy. Reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? <gasps> they're aliens. Oh, they're like human aliens. They're like humanoid they're aliens. Us. At least there used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. I see. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. All right. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. All right, cover the left side. What does that mean? All right, so we're gonna move him right over there. I'm on it. All right. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire okay, so it's teaching us how to use Overwatch. Now, Overwatch is a reaction shot, so if any enemy comes into your line of sight, you'll be able to take a free shot at him, even though it's not your turn. So that's what Overwatch is. So we'll we'll Overwatch. There you go. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. I don't know what the package is though. Is it? Oh, okay. So we're gonna bust inside. Um, okay, so you move here. Oh no, you move in. All the way inside? Okay, you broke through the window. That's actually pretty cool. There we go. Menace three, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we What? Can There's looting in this Seven game? Fast, I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Okay, so ooh, a scope. Okay, we'll take the scope. Very nice. Jason or Jane Kelly. Alright, and then we'll move behind here for half cover. So I'm not sure if, if that scope is like usable right now or do I have to wait until like after the mission to equip it? Not sure. But the scope is basically an attachment to your gun where it increases your accuracy. So all for it. All for it. All right. Ooh, that guy has a cape. He's like he's like a mega soldier. So here goes our Overwatch shot, as you see here. Bam! Knocked him out. Nice. Love it. Well done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. All right. So he's gonna be the next sacrifice. Oh man, Peter. Peter, oh Peter. So we'll overwatch again. Oh, he wants us to fire. Okay. Um, is that the only... Okay, I guess that's the only shot we have. That's a 49%. We missed. Kind of saw that coming. Um, if I was if I was actually controlling them, I would have probably flanked them. All right. So, um, you can stand next to the door. So you see here my, my unit moved next to the door. And now I can click on the door. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Okay, now now I can just Oh, certain soldiers can hack computers, lock doors. Okay. So how do I hack? Okay, there's an action for hacking. Okay. Hack. So we can hack the door. With our tablet. Yes, that's how hacking works. Um, unlock the door. Yeah, begin hack. This is weird. There you go. It worked. All right, we got the door unlocked. We're in. Good. Let's go. All right, so we gotta go get the the package. Let's secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Is that like a super yes. soldier? Holy crap. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you got me a better look, I might be able to Next time. Who 
is that? Is that our Lord and Savior? Let's get out Nick of Jonas? Here. Nick Jonas. Why did I say Nick Jonas? Out of all the people I could have named, why did it have to be Nick Jonas? Um, soldiers can carry unconscious, dead, or bleeding out units. This allows soldiers to retrieve a fallen comrade. Alright, so we'll move... what? Oh, okay, carry unit. Yes, carry. Alright, come here, Mr. Spaceman. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac. But it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. All right, Central. We gotta move. I feel like everyone's gonna just die here. No! There he goes, Peter! Peter! You were you were the unsung hero, man. You were. God damn it. Central, Crasher One is down. You have to get out of there. All right. We need another exit now. All right, so we are gonna move there. All right, there we go. Got it covered. And oh, we could throw a grenade and blow up the wall. So okay, so grenades, the way they work is you see here, there's like this uh, yellow kind of like dome that you have. So anything in the dome is affected by the grenade. Uh, anything in the dome takes damage. You can also, if they're explosive, so there's like rockets, grenades, you could destroy. Um, actual environment so like cover you could blow up their covers to kind of flank them like that um, you could do a lot of stuff with grenades so right here showing you that hey your grenade can destroy walls that's so cool all right so then now you're gonna dash yeah you're gonna move all the way over here that's full cover so I'm guessing we're gonna sacrifice this check too can you run any slower this is a top secret mission. We need to get the package out of here. And you're walking. There you go. You made it. Is that car for us? That car looks actually really cool. The little black car in the back. Whoa, that missed. Yes. <laughs> At least not everyone's going to die. Yeah, way too close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, he took damage. Okay, so he has oh he has more HP than everyone else. We need an immediate evac. Get us One, two, three, four, five. He has six health compared to um, everyone else's four. So select a call ranger, replace P for evac zones. Alright, so um, we'll push P, evac zone right there. That's so cool how you can actually pick where your evac zone is. Alright, so then all right, so move in there. Move into the evac zone. We're coming home. We're coming home. There we go. Um, okay, and then... Okay, so... There you go. Call Sky Ranger. No. Evac. There you go. Okay, so... Why didn't I... Why didn't the girl evac? Okay, there she goes. Later, suckas. Nailed it. Show them who's boss. What the hell is that? Okay, that's kind of creepy. Just saying. Got an achievement! First blood! Here we go. Welcome to XCOM 2, everyone. And those are just the basics. <laughs> Carefully! There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. Coming. Response from the cerebral 
cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. All right. Well, if you guys didn't know, XCOM, the first one. Commander to the research lab. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, in the first XCOM, it was the aliens invading Earth, and in XCOM 2, guess what? The aliens won. They took over Earth, and now we are the rebel, like um, the rebel resistance, you know. And we're trying to take Earth back from the aliens. And you can see that the humans actually get experimented and kind of turn to like this hybrid human-alien species, which is kind of cool. So we'll go to the research room. Hello. Who are you? Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out, which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. All right, so as you can see On here... Order, Commander. I will begin researching the advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Um, alright, so, um, like I said, um, as you can see here, XCOM has two parts to it. It has this strategy, turn-based combat, and then it has this kind of, like, management of the your base, um, section where, like you said, you can recruit scientists, you can recruit, um, engineers, you can recruit all these different people, soldiers, um, to add to your barracks or to, um, increase the speed of researching certain things or developing certain weapons so 
there's this um really big management to it too which is really cool so alien brooch having successfully conducted a traumatic procedure required to required to remove the chip implanted by advent we now have an opportunity to study the inner workings of the device to gain a better understanding of their motivation so we'll research that we need to find out what that work begins immediately commander i'll contact you when i have a full report all right there. so it, it tells that you research will keep tagging busy for a while in the meantime you might want to head down to the armory okay so you can see here that um it should commander, to the stop armory. talking while i'm talking that's really annoying um so, um, when you research something, it tells you how many days it takes. As you can see right there, it says one day for the alien uh, biotech. So, in one day, so there is like a day cycle. Um, and so, after a day, we'll know what it is and that research will be complete. So, let's go to the armory. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. All right, so we'll promote the soldier. Bam. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging. Oh my gosh, she's a samurai. That is so freaking cool. Holy crap. All right. So, Squatty Jane Kelly, new ability slash attack an enemy within movement range with your sword all right carry on we're off to a good start our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience yeah so you can see here oh well never mind not anymore commander to the bridge like i said like i was saying um so there's your soldiers as they gain experience as they get kills and everything else um they're gonna go through ranks in their their um in the barracks so like you start off as i think a rookie then you turn into a squatty which actually gives you like a specialized role um and then squatty turns to like lieutenant then corporal or whatever sergeant i'm not sure the the actual tiers of it but you know there are different tiers and which each tier that you unlock you get you gain new abilities so that's really cool i heard you shen when we get the thing you'll be the first to know Attention. unauthorized presence detected commander give me a second Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby Advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Yay, new mission. So there is a story to this game and um, so you see the objective. Recover the advent power converter. Difficulty is easy. You start off with only using four um, units, but you could actually increase that all the way up to six, which, well, six in the last XCOM. Who knows if you could go even further in this one, but um, we'll save that for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'm super pumped for XCOM 2. If you like the series or you want to support it, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe here to youtube.com slash greenapplebyte for more XCOM 2 and whatever else I make at the time. And like always, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.